6. More than a million people are without power, and the president has now declared federal emergencies in both Arkansas and Kentucky. NBC's Peter Alexander is in Albany, New York, with more. Good morning, Peter. Meredith, good morning to you here. The storm started with snow and it piled up, but the problem this morning is mostly mostly ice, black ice. It is now blamed this punishing storm for the deaths of at least 23 people. And as you noted, federal health is now on its way to two of the hardest hit states, Kentucky and Arkansas. But officials there say this crisis could grow as the temperatures drop. Shivering in Arkansas, freezing in New York, sliding across the Midwest. Most cars are just slipping and sliding so nobody can get going. Nationwide, the crippling winter blast has left almost a million and a half homes and businesses without power. The culprit downed tree limbs and power lines caked in ice, in some places three inches thick. Hardest hit, Kentucky, where nearly half a million, including Robin West family, are huddling in the dark. We've decided we're telling the kids it's just like camping. Utility crews say it could be mid-February before everyone's power is restored. Wake up! Get that old man! He's going in! On the banks of the Ohio River, a near disaster. Rescue crews raced to save the man in this car before it began to slide, stopping dangerously close to the icy water. The East Coast, from the nation's capital to New England, was battered by a paralyzing combination of snow, sleet, and freezing rain Wednesday. Exhausted crews in Albany are dealing with 20% of the entire season's average snowfall in a single day. We'll be out till 12, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning probably, and back in for 6. In much of upstate New York, classes were canceled, but the DeThomas' boys got a different assignment. It just seems like it doesn't stop, and uh, the more you shovel, the more it's coming down, and uh, it just, all you can do is just keep cleaning. At least you got help. Absolutely, yeah. Like millions of others, counting down the eight weeks till spring, waiting for a warm-up. 